Today, the site of the Battle of Waterloo and the area surrounding it has become a popular location for visiting tourists. There are monuments commemorating a battle, and modern-day reenactments occur each year on the anniversary of the battle. There is also a museum displaying a reenactment of the battle, as Katie Haswell finds out. This is a 360 degree panorama of how the battle would have looked. It was done in 1912. Back in those days, it was a huge attraction because of course it was a precursor to the cinema. So people used to flock here to see this. It took a team of artists 10 months to paint this and it's historically correct. They had experts, etc., to check out the uniforms. It's exactly as it was painted then, although I think they've probably added the sound effects. Nearby, it's also possible to visit the farmhouse where Napoleon stayed the night before the battle. This is the farmhouse where Napoleon spent his last night before the battle. Apparently he arrived about 8 o'clock in the evening, had some supper, dictated his war plan and then hit the hay. And that's the very bed that he slept on in this particular room. Of course, he got up the next morning, fought the battle, lost it and was exiled. He died in St Helena and that's his death mask. <laughs>